Welcome back to our channel and for today we welcome you to our new topic which is gene therapy for GE101. We have invited a few guests so let's get started. Gene therapy is the introduction, removal, or change in genetic material, specifically DNA. Gene therapy is a technique that modifies a person's genes to treat or cure disease. Gene therapy holds promise for testing a wide range of diseases such as cancer, heart disease, and other diseases. Cell therapy is a transplantation or introduction of human cells to replace or repair damaged tissue or cells. Both therapy aims to treat, prevent, and potentially cure diseases. Although both gene and cell therapy is a promising treatment option for some diseases, the technique remains risky. The potential loss of surgical as treatment may be lost due to the introduction of both gene and cell therapy. Both are still under study to make sure it is safe and effective. Gene therapy works through a carrier or vector which are the viruses that can either be injected directly to the target tissues of the body wherein the cells accumulate the genes or it could be performed in a laboratory setting in which a sample cell of the patient is removed and manually exposed to the virus and are returned to the body of the patient. There are different ways on how these viruses deliver the gene to the cells depending on their type. First, some viruses combine their genetic material with the new gene to the chromosomes of the human cells. And second, other viruses introduce their DNA to the nucleus of the cell. So there are three main strategies for using gene therapy to restore the target cells or target tissues to a normal or healthy state. First is to insert a functional version of a gene in hopes of replacing the abnormal form. This is used to treat single gene disorders like hemophilia A and B and cystic fibrosis. Second is to insert a gene that encodes for a therapeutic protein that treats a disease. This is used to treat acquired diseases like infection or ischemic heart disease. Third is to use gene transfer to downregulate gene expression in hopes of decreasing the activity of harmful genes. Gene therapy is a process that delivers targeted genes coding for the lacking biological factor. It is a procedure that can potentially treat a roster of illnesses including cancer, infectious diseases, cardiac diseases, neurological disorders, and some inherited conditions. First, this poses as a potential cure to cancer. These genes inhibit tumor angiogenesis and gene coding for enzyme conversion of prodrugs to activate drugs and immunotherapy. Gene therapy products that are underdeveloped to address this complication include colorectal cancer, renal cell cancer, prostate cancer, head and neck cancer, and metastatic melanoma. Second, it also addresses the problem of infectious diseases. This is through formulation of gene therapy vaccines that are underdeveloped and trials for tackling infectious diseases such as influenza, HIV, malaria, and tuberculosis. Third, gene therapy seeks to address the problem of cardiac diseases. Some of these methods are cardiovascular gene delivery such as intramyocardial injection, coronary perfusion, and pericardial delivery. Fourth, this procedure seeks for a solution on neurological disorders. Diseases that are usually incurable are provided with potential cure by this procedure. This includes Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, and amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. The common cell therapy types is blood transfusion. The red blood cells, the white blood cells, and platelets from the donor. Another common therapy is the transplantation of hematopoietic stem cells to create bone marrow. Cell therapy subtypes can be classified in different ways. Four pluripotent stem cells and four multipotent stem cells obtained from the adult tissue are listed. First is the embryonic stem cells, induced pluripotent stem cells, nuclear transfer embryonic stem cells, hematopoietic stem cells, parthenogenetic stem cells, immune cells, neural cells, 
and lastly, epithelial cells. So hi everyone. Today we're going to answer the question, how are the viruses used in gene therapy? So viruses are often used as vectors because they deliver new genes by infecting the cells. So they are modified in the laboratories so they can cause disease when used in people. So some type of virus integrate their material including the new genes into the chromosomes of the human cells. So we have the so-called oncolytic virus. This is engineered virus or material that um, they only replicate on the cancer cells, which causing them to lose. Viruses are vectors. They are also known as the viral vectors. They are used to carry genes into the human body. We know that the viruses are already altered or modified in order to prevent damage to human cells. However, it poses risk. Another danger is that a new gene might be inserted into the wrong location in the DNA, possibly causing harmful mutations to the DNA or even cancer. And that's a wrap. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and see you on our next one.